Basically, look, talking about uh, changing the world in a, in a way where social entrepreneurs are, are using the web beyond just uh, having a good website and social media. What are people actually doing out there to do that? So, to start with, I thought I'd look at a, at a description or a definition of social on, on, uh, entrepreneur so we know what we're talking about. And this is one from the Skoll Foundation, set up by uh, Jeff Skoll, who was the uh, first president of eBay. When he walked away with his lazy $8 billion, he set up this foundation. So they talk about a social entrepreneur being society's change agent, a, a pioneer of innovation that benefits humanity. And this is an organisation called Ashoka, and they've been around for about uh, 25 years plus. There's a guy called Bill Drayton, who's pretty impressive. And they've got these five test uh, sort of criteria, looking at people who they, they call social entrepreneurs. And you can see what they are there. And the first one that's really important is, is this uh, knockout test. It, is it really a new idea that people are working with? And, and so all those sort of things. But, um, but the people we we're talking about, I'll cover these a bit later, but um, these are some of the organisations we we'll look at. And, and they're really across different areas. So they're, they're looking at um, technology, the application of, of, of hardware, bringing people together, or actually bringing uh, philanthropy that's been gained from, from, uh, from being a te te technologist. And so um, social entrepreneurship has got complexity theory written all over it. And uh, you probably know a little bit about that already. So uh, in 15 seconds, there's only so much you can talk about that. But um, basically looking at uh, the weak signal and emergence and, and how that all comes out. Um, in terms of the architecture, really, um, I think uh, one, one critical aspect I have is that People are really only using it for like uh, basic social networking, you know, email connectivity and stuff like that, sort of to educate people where they're from, uh, build awareness, and, and those things. And and uh, so there's, there's more to be done. And so the future is going to is in terms of work is going to really benefit the social entrepreneur. Going to have more hubs, the, the customer suppliers will come from on the ground, and there's going to be this, this shift in activism and demand for change, both among the people they're serving and also the people in in their in their areas. So it's, uh, the application really is in its early days. I'd say it's an early generation sort of application of, of, uh, of the web by social entrepreneurs. So it's a great, great area to sort of embrace um, for you guys, me being a Luddite, but you being techies, to really get involved in this. But the question I'd like to come back to before I look at these organisations, is this change actually real? You know, is it just nice statements, people giving trees hugs and saying, hey, we've done some great stuff for the world, but is it lasting? And I think that the change has to occur between the two ears and also between one person and another, and that's what's really important. So, um, so that was sort of sounds good, but, but what's actually really happening? Well, first organisation we'll look at is called Kiva, uh, set up by Matt and Jessica Flannery, and um, they, they had this idea that they could create this brokerage between people, not just big philanthropists, but people donating $25, uh, you know, as little as $25 to really make change. And so they've created this network where people were able to donate $25 as in a loan, and then it's paid back by, by those organisations. So this is, this is a great example where, where the web has really enabled great change. It's, it's, and Benetech is uh, Jim Fruchterman. He set it up. It's been going for over 10 years. Uh, MacArthur Fellow last year. Some great work with blind stuff and also uh, with uh, um, human rights, looking at uh, reconciliation, particularly in East Timor. So they're currently moving into Australia and um, good place to, good bloke to get on to. So if you want any details, let me know. The Hub. Uh, Jonathan Robinson doing some great work. This started in um, Angel Islington in London. It's now across about, I think, 12 countries, maybe 19 sites. And so the, the, the uh, interconnectivity between people, places and ideas is really important in terms of making that really work. Uh, they're coming to, to uh, Sydney in February. Jeff Skoll and Pierre Nvidia set up eBay in, um, and then sold it for uh, $8 billion each. Uh, Jeff set up uh, the Skoll Foundation, Pierre, um, the... Uh, uh, pioneers, so they both go on their own way. And I just want to also distinguish between ideas and their applications. So, for example, you might have heard of the one laptop per child, and the, there's a Stanford language project which looks at karaoke uh, technology to help teach non-written languages. And uh, and so well, these are great. But where is the social entrepreneur, and, and how do you generate the, um, the the efficient markets out of those? So, if you want to know more, I reckon it's really important to talk, to to jump on blogs like there's one called Social Edge. Check that out. Uh, look at that social, that uh, Ashoka approach, and, and uh, there's a spelling mistake there with a link. It's uh, just looking at the sort of emergence in that respect. So, so all of us here can actually be change makers and, and change the world. And, uh, but the question is, will you? And I want to put it out there tonight as a challenge. A mate of mine, Chris Sara, who's doing some great work with Indigenous education, uh, he comes to Sydney from time to time. It'd be great to sit around with him, with you guys, and, and really and see what, what really comes out of that. And does size matter? I think that really, if change happens between two people, then that's really the world has been changed. It can happen on a global level, and that's, that's great as well. But really, um, positive change is what it's all about. And there's this uh, quote, it's, it's used over and over again, but I don't think it ever really, 
it, it ever really uh, outlives its uh, application. It's by Margaret Mead and really talking about the power of a small group of people who are passionate to make change and that's really how it's all going to come about. So um, that's, uh, that's all for me. You can, you can get me on Twitter and uh, I think I'm going to hand over now to the usability ukulele. Okay, thank you.